So at this point we have a working application, but we want to make it look a little nicer. Um, while we were building the application, I set up a couple classes and uh, I have a style sheet as well as a, um, an image that I'm going to be using. Uh, you guys can feel free to download uh, the resources. I should have a link in the description. Uh, so once you get to this point, uh, you should have a working application as I said. But if you want to style something, um, first we are going to be using this image here. Uh, if I zoom out all the way, um, it's just a tiled image that I have set up. It's just three different color backgrounds that we can use to style different sections of our website. Other than that, everything else is going to be done through pure CSS. Um, so I'm going to move this file, which I have in this images directory here, um, into my project uh, folder which I'm going to right click and create a new folder here, call it images, and I'm just going to drag that in or I'm just going to copy it in. So copy and paste. Alright, so our images piece is all set up. The next thing we need to do is go into our editor, which I'm going to close this. Um, this is what our form looks like now. We're going to open our editor and right click on our project, create a new folder, call it CSS and then inside action we're going to create a new file call it styles.css click on finish um, this is now a CSS styles uh, and our header before has this link in it if you did not add it add it now um, so that way you can uh, create the link for this piece and one thing I did notice was that in our list.php page um, I forgot to close the div here, so make sure that you add another echo statement and close that div, otherwise your menu is not going to look correct. Uh, so with that correction there, we can close the other of these, and we can just focus on our style sheet. The first thing we're going to target is our body, if I could spell it correctly. So we're going to use the body tag, we're going to set margin to 0 pixels padding to zero pixels so we're going to reset everything uh, so that way it's uniform across all browsers and we're going to set the background color to uh, EF 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 and this is just a very light gray um, our font family is going to be set to Verdana Arial and Sans Serif And next we're going to work on our anchor. So we're just going to set those to have a color of 788D38. Um, this is just a color green. And I'm not going to be doing any kind of modifications. I think it's best to leave an anchor um, to have it look the way that it normally would on any browser with the underline um, and all that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is target the... Oops, let's get rid of that target the heading 3 link. Uh, we're going to give it a width of 800 pixels, margin of 10 pixels on the top, and auto, oops, auto on both sides. Next we're going to be using the form div class that we had set up in our code. And we're going to give a margin of 5 pixels and set it to auto for either side. Uh, width is going to be 350 pixels. Border radi radius, which is a new uh, CSS uh, style or uh, attribute, so make sure that uh, if you're using an older browser it may not show up. You may have squares. I know um, IE8 and 7 both show squares for this. IE9 is uh, up to date. so. Um, don't be alarmed if your uh, pages are not showing this, uh, the, the radius correctly. Uh, padding, we're going to set that to 0 pixels. Border is going to be 1 pixel solid, and we're going to go with a light gray. Uh, background is going to be a white color, so that way it stands against the very light gray that we have. And a box shadow of 1 pixel, 1 pixel and five pixels for gradient. All right, 
So now we're going to do form div, whoops, form div, form, and we're going to give the form itself a padding of 20 pixels. I'm just going to get through the form div styling and show you how it modifies um, the page, the login page. Next we're going to do form div heading 3 and we're going to do margin 0 pixels, padding of 10 pixels, line height of 20 pixels, and a width of auto. Next we are going to do form div and style the labels. Give the width of 100 pixels. Oops. Uh, text align, we're going to set it to right. We're going to float it left. Go margin dash top is 6 pixels. Margin dash right is 10 pixels. And our color is going to be a medium gray, 666. All right, two more things that we get to add. We get to do dot form div input, and I'm going to specify only the type of submit. And then we're also going to target our anchors with a class of cancel. We're going to do float right, color of white, font weight, set that to bold, border, we're going to set that to one pixel, solid, and we're going to do 7883, oops, D38, so width is 20%, Cursor is a pointer, padding of zero pixels, font family, well we don't really need this because our font family is already set to Arial, uh, font size is going to be 13 pixels, and whoops, I respecified padding twice in this, so I'm just going to change this zero to five, and that should take care of it. And the last piece is our form div input and select. And we're going to do border one pixel, solid, CCC, border radius, five pixels, padding of five pixels margin is two pixels from the top and the bottom and zero pixels left and right and we're going to do a width of 50 percent uh, the last two things well I'll, I'll show you what it looks like now so now I'm going to save that and I'm going to refresh our login page here uh, which is not pulling up our script so let me take a look at my header CSS styles.css and let me look at my code really quick. Oops. That was my fault. I put the styles.css in the wrong location. I meant to cl right click on CSS and place it in there. Uh, quick fix. We'll just drop it in there really quick and we'll open it again. And now I'll refresh that page and everything should be fine. Um, you will notice that the login button here is outside of our div. What we need to do is we need to add our clear, uh, whoops, our clear button or our clear uh, class. So I gave it a CLR and clear both. That should take care of that. Now I'll refresh this page and now our login button is within our div. Um, you will notice that our colors are not showing up correctly and I will get into that now. 
we are going to be using um, styles to give our buttons and our headers different colors. Uh, so I'm going to jump down to this part, I'll put it right above the clear piece, and gray BG is my first class that I'm going to be styling. Give it a background with a URL of images x axis tile dot jpg and this is just the um, file that I told you guys to download so top left repeat on the x axis color I'm going to be specifying to white and font weight of bold uh, the next one I'm going to be doing is green bg and also input type equal, whoops, type equals submit background we can be URL whoops, images x whoops, axis tile dot g jpeg top left repeat x and we're going to give it a background position and we're going to set it to 0 pixels minus 41 pixels because we have to move the image up color will be white and font weight will be bold alright so now if I refresh this page we should have color in each of those except for what happened here. Let me take a look at this really quick. Oh, I forgot my slash here. My mistake. Uh, so now I refresh and now we have our login button that is styled correctly. Uh, one thing that I did not do is add any um, margin to this. So I will do that now really quickly. So I'll open forms.php, go to my login, I will style my submit button and give margin dash right 32 pixels and that should take care of it so now if I refresh my login button lines up correctly so it's nice and styled um, I'm going to continue with uh, the cancel button since I'm down in this area of my style sheet and that is going to be a dot cancel give it a background color of URL images x axis tile dot jpg top left repeat on the x axis background position is going to be at zero pixels from the left and minus 75 pixels on the top. Uh, color is going to be white. Font weight is going to be bold. Width is going to be auto. Border of one pixel solid and 72 whoops 73 to E2E. text decoration since I want my two buttons to match and this one's an anchor I need to remove the underline and border radius 5 pixels margin top is going to be 2 pixels 32 pixels on the right 0 pixels on the bottom and 5 pixels on the left so now our cancel button is all styled uh, really the only last bit that we have to do is styling our menu. If we were to log in right now, I'll go ahead and do that. We have uh, our piece that's nicely formatted, but we need to format our, um, our table. So let's go ahead and jump into that. We'll go right above our color styling. And I'm going to do an ID of menu background will be 
five by five. Padding will be 15 pixels on the top and 10 pixels left and right. Color will be white. Oops. Menu anchor will be, will have a color of light gray. Menu anchor with a hover will be, oops, color. EF, 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 so that way it has a slight difference. Our contact list, which is our table with the, all of our contacts, will have a width of 800 pixels to match our headers and a margin of 10 pixels on the top and auto left and right. Contact list. TH for table headers, we'll give a background of 788D38. Color will be white. Font weight will be bold. And text align to the left. Finally, we want to style our contact list table data cells and just give it a background. Oh, no, sorry, padding. 10 pixels top and bottom, 5 pixels left and right. Um, oops, row 0 will be background light gray, and row 1 will be a background of white. And that is just about it. So if I resave this, go back to my list screen and hit refresh, we have a nicely formatted um, tables, headers, and a menu at the top. Uh, if I go back into John Doe, now our form still uses the same style that our login form does, so it's nicely formatted. We really didn't have to change anything. Uh, if I hit the cancel button, I go back to my list, create a new category, same thing, I have my category name here, uh, my uh, field, um, and there you go. Hopefully you guys found this nice and easy. That is also a really quick tutorial on using CSS sprites. You have all your uh, elements in one file, and then you just pull them up based on where they are located in the file. So you have to map them out um, using positioning. Uh, hopefully you guys found this tutorial pretty helpful. I will go into a little more detail um, with object-oriented stuff in another series. I will be working on that uh, once I get uh, some Zen framework stuff done on my end and also I want to rebuild my website so I'll be uh, I'll be working on that uh, hopefully you guys uh, liked my tutorials and uh, stay tuned for more thanks